Good morning everyone, welcome back. Look what I've bought. Pressure washer. No more bucket and sponge for me dealing with these. So much easier to clean all the mud off with this. Perfect. Looks as good as near, doesn't it? So the next big thing on the farm is going to be a slight change of direction from the arable farming that we've got over here. Um, I've got the animal trailer hooked up, so this is a new purchase. Hooked up to the John Deere 6R. I haven't bought the animals yet, that's later on today. I'm going to be going to collect them and you will find out what they are then. Uh, we're starting fairly small, just getting a small number of animals and um, we'll see how that goes and maybe grow from there. But yeah, today is going to be getting the first animals so I'm pretty excited uh, to see them on the farm. It's going to be nice to have animals around the farm uh, in addition to the arable farming that we do. Before I get to go and collect the animals, um, Jim and I are going to be working on bringing the bales in from the grass fields. Uh, I don't know if you remember from the previous video, uh, bales a load of hay in the two grass fields. Uh, in fact, you can see just uh, across the road there in front of me. Um, so there's uh, a load of hay bales that need bringing in and putting under shelter while the weather's still good. Uh, it's forecast to be alright for the rest of the day, but and the next couple of days actually, but I'd like to get those bales in and under shelter before there's any risk of rain coming along. And then, uh, I'll be going to go and get the animals.
it's almost market time now, which means I need to go and um, get ready for buying the animals that I'm going to be bringing to the farm. Uh, we've collected in all the hay bales off the first of the two grass fields. Uh, they're all on the trailer here. So I'm going to leave Jim with the trailer to unload the bales and put them in the shed here next to the straw while I go down to market to buy the animals. Just taking the animal trailer to market, but you can see there, there's the first of the grass fields, all the bales gone. So, if Jim manages to get all those hay bales unloaded and stacked, I guess he can start on um, collecting all the bales in from the second of the grass fields on the other side of that wall. Uh, but in the meantime, off to market. My animals are bought and paid for now. Now I'm just reversing up the trailer so that I can collect them. It's pretty exciting. First animals that I've got on the farm, and in a moment you will be able to see what it is that I've bought. We have, in fact, a trailer full of sheep. So these are the first animals for the farm. Thirteen of them, in fact. So a trailer full of sheep, and um, we're going to take that back, put them in the, uh, in fact, in the fields that we've just collected the hay bales from. That's where they're going to go for a start. Um, the grass is growing again there, ready for them to graze, and obviously we've got the hay bales that they can use for feed as well. I can even see one of the sheep looking at me in the mirror. There they are. So I feel like I should drive a bit more gently to not have them all falling over into each other in the back. Can keep an eye on them in that mirror. And we'll soon have them back at the farm. Here we are back at the farm, so I'm just reversing the trailer into the gateway. And then we can let the fee let the sheep out into the field. So they can go and start to enjoy their new home. Very exciting times. Alright, sheep, out you come. And there they go. The new flock of sheep from our farm seem to be quite happy in this field. Plenty of room for them, there's only 13 at the moment. I do plan to expand the flock actually and get some more, but not yet. Um, we'll just let these settle in, get used to having them around for a few days, and then I might go to market again next week and expand the flock then, or maybe the week after. But for now, we'll leave these to settle in here. Here's the first load of hay bales stacked. This is all of the bales from that first grass field, the one that the sheep are now in. Um, but we've still got the bales to collect from the other field. Um, actually, let's have a look. A grass field across the road here. So we've got all of those hay bales to collect in. There's probably not quite as many in this field as there were in the previous field. So we'll bring those. They need stacking as well. I might continue to stack those here or possibly actually in there's a there's another bale shelter down over the other side of the grass meadows over there. Might put them in there. As this one once you start to get towards these pillars it makes it really awkward actually to manoeuvre in and out to get these bales stacked so we might start using the other shed as well. Uh, I'm going to leave Jim to get started on collecting those bales. I need to go and collect a new water trailer that I've bought so that I can take some water into the sheep field. So Jim's going to get on with the bales and I'm on my way to do that now. So I'm going to take the fence to get the water trailer, but first, because it's looking a little bit muddy, I'm going to use my nice new power washer on this as well. Give it a bit of a clean first and then we can go and get the water trailer for the sheep.
get those windows a good clean to make sure it's easy to see out of. Perfect, that'll do nicely. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Get that water trailer. Here it is, my new water tanker. It's a Josh skin, as you can see, fairly small water tanker, but plenty for what I need. Uh, so I'm going to fill it up from my water tank here and then take this to fill up the trough in the sheep field. So I'll be able to keep them uh, regularly supplied with water. field, aren't they? Plenty of room for them. I could fit many, many more sheep in here. It's a big field for just 13. So there we go, that's all the water trough filled up for the sheep. Hopefully they'll find that when they need it. There's such a big space for 13 sheep, isn't it? I'll be expanding the flock soon, hopefully. So I'm going to go and help Jim now with collecting in the bales from that field over there. Go and stack them at the farm. And then next jobs after that, we've got uh, fertilizer ordered that's going to be delivered to the farm soon. Uh, lime as well, so I need to spread those on the um, the arable fields, get them growing. Uh, I'll get them ready for planting it even. Um, decide what crops it is that we're going to be planting. So on the next few videos you'll be seeing all of those jobs coming up. I'm going to leave it here for this video. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Happy farming.